everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing a very quick short uh, first impression video on two of my new purchases so it's actually two pair of slides we're in the middle of winter now so it's not the most appropriate time to be buying slides but when they're on a great sell when there's a good deal you guys know how i am with sales so i went ahead and got them for a really good price and i want to just share them with you one of them is this yves saint Laurent, um uh, pair and it's the tribute new pa um sandals which i've shared in my previous video so please do check it out um i purchased these from matches fashion and um, they are like the signature Yves Saint Laurent shoes. I'll share, show you guys how they look like. So in terms of packaging, this is my first time buying Yves Saint Laurent shoes as well. It's in the very similar box as you would have with your handbags. Um, and it's in this black box. Inside there's also a care booklet, also very similar to what the, the uh, uh, sorry, what is it? The SLGs or the handbags have, it's a booklet. And then, it's all in black tissue paper, so very elegant and luxurious. Obviously comes in dust bags, so the shoes were wrapped in the dust bags for me, for these pairs at least. And these are the shoes. The, again, the dust bag even, it's very similar to what you will have with your like, I think this is the same one as I would have for my um, clutch, like my Alton clutch, but similar dust bags. And it's these beautiful Tribute New PA slides. So I got these in the 34 and a half. So this is what the soles look like. But um, normally I would go for 35, but it was running out of the 35. So uh, the best I can do is 34 point and a half, which is not bad. There are slides, so it's not like, you know, there's no real issue with fitting. Um, I did try them on quickly. They're slightly small, and I have to be honest, first impression is they're actually not as comfortable as I thought they would be. Um, so, you know, I have to try it out and, and maybe walk around the house a little bit more to determine whether I want to keep them. But they're very pretty. It's a very classic sort of um, look that they have at Saint Laurent. This color is also quite neutral, very bright, um, easy to go with outfit in the summer, I think. So I will, um, you know, I have to debate about it a little bit more. Um, these I paid for 350 Canadian dollar after tax, which is really, really cheap, you guys. I think these go for about, what, 800 um, for retail price, uh, if not more. I think it depends on the leather, the color, and all that. There's different pricing for these. But $350 after tax Canadian is really, really cheap. I've never seen them at this price before, so... Um, yeah, just for that reason alone. But again, I think for shoes, you really need to get something that you would actually wear because otherwise then they, they will just sit there, right? Okay, so the second pair, the second pair of shoes is from Givenchy. Uh, donc, um, sorry, the Givenchy pair are um, also one of their classic mules. Comes also similarly with a care booklet, all in white. Uh, very nice double dust bags in the silky, Silky texture with the word Givenchy on them. Very nice dust bags. And then, they're all very well, nicely packaged. So it's these classic Givenchy mules. I'm sorry, I can't. All right. This is in the lamb, lamb skin. The lamb leather which makes it really easy to show creases and wear, I think, because see, this should be a brand new pair. I mean, I have a feeling that this might be a return because even the sole has a tiny bit of wear on it. Um, you know, but, but they're my size, they're size 35. They're in this beautiful black and white, which is my favorite combination for these mules. I'm obviously gonna insert some pictures uh, of me wearing them um, with this video as well. Um, but, you know, again, like, with the white and the lambskin, I just don't know how well they will wear. But these ones also I paid for $395 before tax, so a little bit more expensive compared to the YSL pair. But, you know, um, 
I think these are in a way more comfortable because it has more coverage on the foot. Um, it's in lambskin. It has a little bit more cushion on the on the sole, whereas this one is more like a flat, like flat. There's no cushioning or padded. There's no nothing padded with this shoe, whereas this one, the heels at least are padded. Um, if you compare the soles, this one has a teeny bit of heel, like a half inch or a quarter or a third of the inch, um, inch, I guess. And then this one is more, there is also a heel, but it's in this curve, in this plaid, how do I say, edge, wedge, I guess, type of heel. Um, you know, very, very beautiful too. I love the color of the sole. It doesn't matter, but you know, it's very, um, classic very easy to pair very elegant these pairs as well they're quite you know they're very nice and pretty as well um anyways two of my new purchases my first impression when i just tried them on i think they're equally comfortable or equally uncomfortable um neither of them make me feel like oh i want to wear this forever like you know i don't think i got that feeling from either one if i really have to pick i would think the Givenchy ones are a little bit more comfortable um, like I said, just because it's a little bit more padded and it's kind of um, it has more in your foot. For reference, I have a very slimmy, a slim sort of bony type of feet. Um, not picky with my shoes. I break into shoes fairly easy, but I also wear them out very, very quickly. I think it's just how I walk or something. So to my opinion, I would say these ones are a bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, anyways, I like to just want to share these with you as I just received them similar time. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.